And one of those things that particularly shocked me is we heard about you working with Vertigo. I've, I've battled that in the past and like even defending yeah. like a high crotch takedown or, or anything like that, you lean over and the room starts to spin with you. Yeah. you it, it's more than like a, a three minute, four minute sparring round. You're going out there having 30, 40 minute matches. And how, how did that affect you? And when did you first notice it? So, I mean, I first noticed that um, it was it was an issue that it that it turned up in one of the G1 uh, semi I was called the semifinal matches. It was it was it was the block B decision making match to decide who is going to go to the finals. And I had taken um, one of Okada's drop kicks to sort of, I guess, all ties in a forbidden door in sort of a way. Um, so I'd taken one of Okada's drop kicks from New Japan, who, who we know we're working with uh, coming this weekend. And it was just one of those strange, it, it happens once every million times. Um, the way that he turns over on the drop kick and the way that I had fell put me right underneath uh, his knee. So he kind of did like this back flipping knee drop onto my, onto my temple. And um, I guess it put something out. It put, put out my C1 in my neck. I had thought it was just more of like a traumatic blow, like blunt force trauma type thing. Because I mean, it's a big knee drop on my head. Of course. Um, but what I didn't realize until the day after in the morning was that something was out and something was wrong. As soon as I tried to stand up, I fell over, you know, like you, you think you're going to walk straight, but you just, you're walking at an angle and I fell into a dresser and knocked over a bunch of stuff that was on the, on, you know, glass and things. It, it was, it was, it was, it was rough. And I had, that had fear to sit sets down in like, too. That fear sets in. Like, yeah, Will this it ever is. stop? Yeah, yeah. So it was knowing that it hadn't been 24 hours and knowing that, oh, my goodness, like I set my alarm to wake up after wrestling in the evening to wake up um, at nine in the morning now, um, either nine or seven, because we had to be there early um, to go back to Serena for for, you know, main event G1 finals match. And I can't stand. I can't keep my equ equilibrium. It was really it was scary. So I thought, okay, I'm going to calm myself. I'm going to calm my breathing. I'm going to go back to bed. And hopefully when I wake up, this will all just be like a, a really terrible memory. And um, I went back to bed for like about a half hour or so. And I woke up and it was a little, a little better. And I was able to figure out that what made it really bad was when I had to get up from a, like a, a, a lying state flat on the ground so if i was laying flat looking straight up that is where it takes me a long time to restore and reset that equilibrium if i was on my side i was able to um offset a lot of that dizziness that 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 goes with the vertigo um so my recovery from going to being dizzy to being able to function would disappear in a matter of a second rather than having five to 10 seconds of like, Oh boy. Like I feel like I did the, the, that bat gaming where you put your forehead in the bat and run around in a circle. I thought, yeah. I thought I did one of those, one of those types of guys. So, um, I had just put it in my head knowing what I was going to do in that match in the, the main event that whatever I do, I have to avoid being on my back flat a lot. And, try to be on my side or at least reset to a side position as quickly as I could, regardless of what happened in the match. And um, I remember near the beginning, uh, and I remember it like it was yesterday, uh, there was a, there's a part in the match where um, I take like a, like kind of like a jumping neck breaker type thing. And uh, I just stayed lying on my back too long and for a second there, I was like, oh no, like I just did myself in. I totally forgot. And this is gonna this is gonna get rough because we've just started this match. We're about like five, seven minutes in. Um but we were able to get back on track and it was in it, it worked out all right. Um but it was it was scary. And uh it it had been a problem that if my C one went back out, it would come back. And sometimes I would have moments where you know i would i would have a good eight months nine months but then even just riding a you know having a, a, a bad bus ride or having a bad plane ride might put it out and um 
it was just something that I always had to make sure that I had access to someone who knew how to fix it, to have them on hand at all times. Because the last thing I would want to do is is feel that way in, in a ring and to have the responsibility of my own safety and someone else's safety in my hands at that point. Definitely didn't want to do that. 